back. Today we're taking a quick one week look at the uh, Relentless Tactical Carry Belt, Ultimate Carry Belt, as they say on there. And I'm just going to give you my first week impressions of this uh, belt and then uh, I'll do a uh, one month follow up. Because basically to me after one month the belt will be broken in and uh, if there's any huge wear patterns on it within one month we're going to see it. So today I just want to take a quick look at it. I'll go over it a little bit more during the one month one of some of the features of it. One thing I want to look at today though is like wear for one week. Now this leather does have some markings on it. And then this spot right here. That's usually where my holster sits. So you can see there is a little bit of wear on the leather where my holster is. Uh, I've been only wearing this for a week and I do have a weekly holster I'm doing this week too. So it's been the only, only holster to touch this belt so far. So I'll show you that here in a minute. But you know we do got some little markings on it. Get it in the light so you can see it. But the stitching and everything else looks good. And then a couple of things I'm going to look at for uh, when I do my one month is I want to see how bad these holes stretch out and then how floppy this gets. Because if you have a regular belt, and I'll show you during the one month one, you'll see where most belts fail because they're not true gun belts. What I can tell you about this is it is a very comfortable belt, and I do like it. Uh, when I'm at work going up and down ladders and bending down and going up, it is pretty flexible and everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the setup I've been carrying this week. So this is what I've been wearing it with uh, this week. This is a Mid-Atlantic Holsters with a uh, Bursa Thunder 380 in it. And if any of you have shot a Bursa of Thunder 380, you know, even though it's a 380, it's not that light of a gun. It's still a pretty heavy gun. And as you can see here, the way I'm holding it, it'll turn and everything. But this belt is not bowing that much with it like you would think it would. This belt actually makes this heavy gun feel pretty comfortable. Well, that's just a quick look at the uh, Relentless Tactical Holster for my one uh, week uh, look at it. And like I said, on my one month review, I'll go a little bit more into detail about a couple cool features about this. And then we're going to check out how that wear is. So far, like I said, the only really bad wear I see is right there where the holster is. But your holster's covering it up, so that don't really matter. So that's all I got for today. Don't forget to check down the links down below. Um, I got Forge for Freedom down there who makes cool shirts like this. So if you want to check out Forge for Freedom, they got some cool uh, Second Amendment and patriotic shirts there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Uh -huh.